Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the cocoon only bins, which are no longer just cocoons, they're worms. We've got the European Nightcrawlers and the Red Wigglers that were started on May 15th, 500 cocoons each. Now, uh, one thing that I have noticed keeping them in these five gallon containers is that the worms are not getting as big as they are in the larger systems. But that's okay, they're still doing their job and I'm okay with that. But let's have a look at them and see what they're doing. Let's look at the European Nightcrawlers. Alrighty, well it looks like we've got quite a bit of castings on the top here. You can see that that is used up castings. Let's dig around here just a little bit and see what we got. Oh well, you know, it's not a bad size European Nightcrawler by any means. And let's see, yeah, th you know what? They are not a bad, a bad size. In case you're wondering, over here this is where I let my water degas from the chlorine and chloranamines that are in city tap water and that's just what it looks like, a bunch of old milk jugs left out. I digress. So let's see if we can find any food here. Pretty well worked over. Moisture's looking really good. Probably much wetter than I would probably, I don't know, want it to be, but I know that it's better for the worms for it to be almost mucky wet. You can hear it. That is definitely wetter than the wrung out sponge. But in the case of when I'm trying to build my numbers, that is one of the... Um, Alright, so I look like I have found another centipede or millipede or whatever it is. I've squished it. I found them in here before. I'm going to take it out just in case it had eggs. But from what I understand, they will damage the, um, the babies. So I don't know what they're coming in on. These bins are the most isolated ones I have. So it's got to be coming in on the cardboard or the junk mail or something but I am going to keep an eye out for that. Not seeing anything except for some toilet paper tubes as far as anything recognizable. So one of the things that I'm going to do today is something that I don't normally do. And um, right now I'm in my post-vacation mode here and I don't have anything thought out for them. But what I do have is an almost empty thing of oatmeal and grits. So I'm going to do something weird, something unusual. I'm going to give them a grain feeding. So one moment and I will actually... So what it is here, oatmeal, grits, and some eggshell. So I am just going to give them about half a cup and kind of mix that in the top layer a little bit. Being that there was 500 worms in here, I don't know if that's a, an appropriate amount for a dry feeding. If you guys do dry feedings, leave a comment below. Is, is about a half a cup good for worms for a week? or? What do you normally give them if that's the sort of thing you feed them? I don't generally, but right now I don't have anything else, so this was my my answer to getting them something to eat this week. So, geez, I don't know. I don't want it to heat up, so I don't really want to give them a whole lot more. But, um, so, all right. Well, I'm going to turn you off here and wash my hands. All right, now I'm back with the Red Wigglers. You can see that there's a lot of condensation on the top. I don't have any uh, ventilation except for these two holes here on this bin. So I do tend to see it getting pretty wet. 
let's take a look here and see what we got. Looks like I can see a, a little bit of a banana stem left over. Let's see if we can find some worms. There we go. Got some worms. They're not all in the same place, so they probably have gone through their food in the three weeks. But I'm going to dig around and fluff things up here and see what I can find. I don't know where this comes from. It must be there's some kind of paper I'm putting in here that must be laminated or something. But I pull that out when I find it. You can hear the little pugs snorking in the background. Keep an eye on them, make sure they're not eating my worm food. Because they will totally do that. They have done that. There's kind of a cluster of them. It's not as far as a, a worm ball, but you get what you get when you haven't been in here for a week or two. So you can see these red wigglers. These are almost adults. And they're not very they're not very big. Here's a here's one of the adults. So for scale, you know, my hand they just do not seem to be getting very big in here. And like I said, I'm not I mention it as just uh, information. Uh, at this point, I don't intend to put them in a different container to try and bulk them up or anything. Um, they're fine in here. And right now, I'm uh, trying to see if I can get a population going of just a single species. So I'm going to do the same thing for them that I did for the European night crawlers, and I'm going to give them a scoop of the dry food that I made. As wet as this bin, as these bins both are, um, I really don't think I need to add water. I'm just going to kind of add that in and then combine it with the, the existing bedding rather than spraying it because this bin does not need to be any wetter than it is. All right. Well, kind of weird for me to... Uh, to do a grain feeding, but right now I don't have anything left. After I fed the 55 gallon bin and the urban worm bag, I'm out of uh, stuff to feed them for the week. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and if you're not already a subscriber, click subscribe and become a part of my worm family. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, hit that little bell for notification. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.